Hey everyone, welcome to DraftMagic.com. This is Rudy Poo. I'm going to be doing a Masters Edition 8-4 here. So this is the opening pack. I have some pretty good cards in this one. Um, the All-Star being Armageddon. This card will end a limited game faster than pretty much anything besides a Wrath. Uh, especially if you've got some Flyers, which White has a ton of, so that's that's pretty good. On the other hand, we also have Wrath. So I'm a little bit of a bind there actually so which card is better uh, I like black and white a lot both um, you know this this card has one good black card in it and I mean I guess reasonably good white card but hmm um, I'm probably going to go with an Armageddon here uh, this card is very splashable basically in every deck whereas deck more plague you really have to be playing black although I've actually found splashing to be not that easy in here just because there's not really any fixing in green uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and pick that and see what else happens. Alright, so next we have a Orcs Mechanics. Um, I assume this card is good. I haven't really gotten a chance to play with it, but it seems solid. Um, Blacksmith, if you have a lot of uh, artifact creatures, is clearly good. Juggernaut is looking like what I'm going to be picking here right off the bat. Uh, this format's full of small things and flyers and stuff and playing a juggernaut armageddon in the next turn seems pretty solid uh just fate is also really good i actually don't really like passing this because i'm in white right now and i'm tempted to take that over the juggernaut but i think juggernaut is stronger uh other things of note this card is is fairly good but that's about it so the question is basically juggernaut or just fate here uh found removal is really at a premium especially in white the Juggernaut seems really strong, um, and three three power is actually relatively rare in the set. And actually, this guy plus healing solve is pretty brutal because uh, that's a great trick that you get out in white. So I'm gonna go with the Juggernaut. That may not be correct. I'm a little little unsure about that. All right, so the next pack. Uh, this card's fucking awful. Uh, it's five mana for two two, and it does something for six mana. Um, Detonate is actually a pretty solid card in red. Deals some damage and kills an artifact. Instant would be a lot better. Uh, Living Wall, I think, is actually really good. It's a 4 mana 0 6, which completely gums up the ground and is impossible to kill. This good card, um, White Black, is tough because there's a lot of uh, double cost things in it. I just passed the Plague, so I think I'm not going to take that. Uh, I actually like this guy. It's a, again, it's a big beater. Uh, this format kind of likes big beaters. So to me, it's basically between this and this. With the Armageddon, I think I want aggressive stuff because I can just get this guy into play and with a few other things and hopefully just kill them. Although that that is tempting and kind of just shut down both the cards I have. But well, yeah, we're gonna go with the Taskmaster here. Get see if we can get kind of aggressive. All right, so a white card or an anti-white card that's a rare. Awesome. Um, this is very good, I think. In general, it's going to at least cycle. At its best, it's going to be drawing you three or four cards, so that can easily win a game by itself. Uh, you know, in the right deck, I guess you could be pick this. I found this card to actually be very solid. Uh, there's a lot of X1s, especially the Flyers. You know, killing their Phantasmal Forces is pretty hilarious with this guy. Uh, so my choice to me is really this or this. Um, this stays on color in red. You know, I don't know if I want to jump out of what I have for this card. I think I'm going to pick up the fire starter here. That seems like the best choice. Maybe, you know, yeah, all right. So we're going to grab that. If I take him the wall, ugh, look at all this blue coming around now. Oh, but here's a nice 2-2 flyer to go with my Armageddon, which I'll probably be taking. Um, this card I can't imagine is good. I guess it's like a 50-50 chance to win the game, which actually might be good. Um, hmm. It's five mana. Oh boy, I don't know if that card's good or not. Um, the safe pick. That pick. We're going to go with the safe one. I'll not be a shitty player. Uh, all right, what do we got here? Artifact creature, oh, it's a reanimate or an animate. Uh, so we have another Taskmaster, or we have a White Knight. It's first strike, pro black. 
Uh, let's cost sort this out here. Um, I think I want to go with the white knight here, although there's a lot of two threes in the format, which I think makes this guy really a lot worse. Uh, Taskmaster seem, seem to kind of just ship around the table. I, I don't know, people don't like them very much, so I'm going to pick this up. I don't even know if it's better, if this is better than this card, though. The double white kind of throws me a little here. Um, hmm. All three of these cards are close. I'll go with the uncommon because I can probably pick up more of the other ones. Again, I don't I don't know if that's really a <laughs> correct way to look at it, but uh, this card is too expensive. Four mana for that effect I'm not a huge fan of. I like this guy a lot. Probably be taking that. Again, it's ar stuff I can throw down before the Armageddon, so we're going to be going with things like that. I actually also love this card. I think it just gums up the ground and beats real hard, so... But we're going to go with the flyer. Cutting white is best we can there. Alright, so... Uh, Righteous Charge, I just never find it makes my deck, although this is looking very aggressive. Um, not really worried about that. This card is interesting. Uh, you can definitely get in there. It's really good with Dragon Engine and this guy, because it makes him unblockable. But it's, it's a huge mana investment. Uh, this guy, I guess, is good. Well, it's just too expensive. I, I don't know. I'm actually going to pick up this here. It's cutting white, and it's possibly good in our very aggressive deck. Uh, Alright, so we're going to pick this guy up, get the uh, artifact destruction, which tends to be good. And again, we're going to pick up those white guys. I'm not a huge fan of this dude, but he gets the job done when needed, so... Again, it can very easily jump out of red here if we open a, a bomb of some sort. Uh, this guy, I think, sucks. <laughs> um, I will take him probably now because I think everything else here is bad. Uh, th I guess this could be relevant if you have a ton of artifacts. And it's possible I'll play against a really aggressive deck, so... Uh, I'll get that out of there. Um, take you. You're semi-playable, I think, and... That can kill me, so we'll hide that. Alright, hide the weak stone. I'm going to hide this for now. Well, no, I'll leave that out. Uh, Temple Acolyte gets hidden, though. Tablet gets hidden. So, this is looking okay. Uh, the red was really, really not there, which is fortunate. Although the blue actually was not there at all, either. So, I didn't really miss anything out by passing that uh, Theft of Dreams. Actually, I think I'd rather be this. Alright, so what do we got? Um, another Wild Griffin. Good card. What is this? Next time a sorcerer your choice to deal damage to target creature this turn, sorcerer seals that to damage you instead. Huh. That seems really powerful. I don't see... Hmm. Alright, well that's uh, definitely up for consideration. Um, good card. Not in my colors. Good card... It's a very funny card. You need a ton of goblins for that. I mean, I guess theoretically I could pick up a bunch and see if I can spin it. Another white knight. Again, I, I don't even know how good this card is, so I'm kind of hesitant with that. I think the choice is between this card and this. Next time a sorcerer choice would deal damage to target creature this turn. Deals damage you instead. Yeah, I mean, it makes trading absolutely impossible for them. The question is, how much am I going to be trading with this deck? Pretty aggressive. Do I just want this card? Um, I'm going to try this. I think that that card feels very good to me. Um, oh, well. And this is in the pack. Holy crap. So I passed a Dakmore Plague and the Soul Siphon, and they got a better common. A better common than, this, than a 6-mana six 6-5 six flyer. What the hell do I do with that? Both this card and this card are better than any of these other cards for me, so it's, the choice is clearly between those two. Um, neither black or blue is coming at all in the packs. I like blue better, I think. Ah, oh, jeez. Color requirements, hmm. I like blue better than black. I just can't imagine me getting black after passing this card. Um, the question is, which am I more afraid of? I'm going to actually ship that and grab the elemental. 
I think, because I didn't pass any blue. I think it's possible that I'll be shipped more good stuff in that color. Um, that's an insane collection of things that just happened there. So this card could get. So I don't like that. Um, that's awful. Uh, this is probably the worst card I've ever printed. <laughs> I like clay statue. It's a four mana three hundred generator. Uh, I'm gonna pick that up right here. All right. So what do we got? And I was. Oh wow. I'm. Guess I made the wrong choice. Uh, that sucks real bad. Um, I think I go with this card here. Ah, oh, jeez. Man, I would have had a real good black deck. Hmm. Okay. Um. I think I, I it's. I think it is too late for me to to jump into black, especially after passing that other card. I don't see how I'm going to beat the deck when I play it, but maybe I'll get lucky. Uh, I'll pick up Cloud Spirit here. Jeez, this is brutal, huh? I think you guys are probably screaming watching this compute watching this in your uh, computer right now. So we'll pick up the Golem. Uh, it's a fine card. Get gets Rhino out of my. Uh, oh wow! All right, so the Cloud Spirit. I guess blue was also open. Uh, these cards are all bad. Pick that up. Uh, jeez. I think this card's pretty good. Uh, I might just take that. Yeah. Smoothing from a deck seems fine. Um, Sea Serpent's a really good sideboard card. Uh, this is really good too. I might just D that actually. Yeah, I want that thing out of there. I don't really. I can get a sea serpent if I really decide I need one over this card. It's not really that relevant difference. Blue decks don't have huge beaters. So. Yeah, like I said, there's another. Although I like that guy a lot. Uh, I think he's better than this guy. And I seem to be out of red, so we'll pick off the engine. Uh, artifact blast, great. Da, da, da. That card is slightly relevant, I think. Hide. I'm gonna hide my red cards. It's possible I'm gonna get completely cut from blue. Man, that fucking black. Who could have? Who could have thought those two bombs would get open? I I just can't believe that the person to my left didn't slam that uh that Dakmore plague, and then I guess it could have been a foil. Oh, it could have been a foil rare. But then why would you pass the, the destroy two non-black creatures? The card is an insane bomb. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess <laughs> I guess they know something that I don't. Anyway, so I want to pick up a few more things here, hopefully. Maybe a few more little drops. I don't really have any low curve. Uh, my, my flying stuff's looking all right right now. I got four good flyers. That's a good beater. I think that card with this card is really good. Um, so again, here's an interesting situation. Something. Now nah, I'll take that out. Hide it. Man, my black deck. All right, get the Ebony Rhino out of there. In case someone someone's taking the Urza lands out of here. By the way, I don't know if anyone noticed that. So someone is actually forcing that deck. Uh, it'll be pretty funny when I cast Armageddon against them, and they're really sad. Because they won't have any of their lands anymore. Well, I guess that's true of everyone. So, my deck is looking okay. I have basically zero removal spells right now, which sucks. Uh, I need to fix that. Oh, but I'm going to open a dual land and ruin my draft, because I'm going to have to take that. But, I'm not complaining. Uh, that's a bomb in this format. Uh, this card is probably good in my deck. I'm not sure if that's true. I, it's a very odd card. I mean, four mana for five through wall would be fine. And the fact that it can attack occasionally just makes it good. Um, I can probably spin a clay out of here. People don't take that card as high as I think they should. Maybe a healing solve, but Taiga is. Fortunately, I can't. It's not a splashing duel for me, so I, I can't take advantage of the... Having that as a splash, but you know, again, you can't really complain about opening one of those. Ooh, fast bond's kind of sexy, also. So here is a very interesting choice. Um, this card is really good in my deck, I think. 
this is a removal spell that I need. I'm going to probably make it... Inc I really don't like playing double white. Also, if I Armageddon, this gets killed. I just... I don't know. I'm taking this card. I, I really don't like this card very much. I'm probably incorrect about that, but I for some reason... Oh, holy shit. Alright, so double air elemental. My deck just got a lot better. Um, I'm looking for some counter spells now. Not going to see any. Uh... Ch -ch 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 no white cards, and that is the only choice. So I have double sleight of hand, which means I can really dig for this, which I'm pumped and these guys. Um, I've got 14 creatures, all of which are relatively playable, except for maybe these guys. So hopefully I can get rid of them. 20 cards, tons to go here. So I think I, s at some point I might be able to play 16 lands. Uh, I think, I guess this is better than a 17th land. It's kind of risky. Especially with, you know, my curve is not exactly low. Well, yeah, I mean, my curve looks sort of how it's supposed to look. Wow, another Savannah Lions. Um, hmm. I think that this card is better than Savannah Lions because there's so many 2-3s. So I'm going to pick that up. Um... Alright, target permanent you control becomes the color of your choice. It's a weird card. Um, this card I think is very good in my deck, but I can't pass that up at this point. It really doesn't work very well with Armageddon, but I think if hopefully I can just Armageddon and win or something. I don't know, but I, I can't pass a, a removal spell up that I don't really have. I haven't gotten any of the good blue cards, like the ones that bounce a guy and and put them on, or and you draw a card, which works amazingly with this card, because it gets off the board and then you blow up their lands. Actually, this card shitty with Armageddon too, but it's still one one afterwards. I just have to remember to not overextend on my lands, which is going to be very difficult because, you know, I mean, I do obviously do the uh, the standard land bluff in hand, but it's I still tend to play them out probably more than I'm going to want to. I'm going to want to basically stop at four lands, and if I hit a fifth, then cast it. Or if I hit the, one of these, cast the fifth land to play the air elemental. Um, the white has really not dried up, but it's been not as good as I was hoping. Untapped, enchanted. They're indestructible. Non creature. Oh, non creature artifacts. I don't really care about non creature artifacts. Uh, I'm gonna pick up this guy. I think that card's good. I mean, maybe, maybe it's not as good as I think it is, but so I guess I take another sleight of hands and really just dig for my good cards. I'm pretty okay with that. Yep. Yeah, okay. So I spun the healing self, which is fine. I needed a trick. Hey, I also spun that. Do I play two of them? This card I think is also pretty underrated. It's a I mean, it does use your land drop, but so what? Um, but I think I take that. Ugh, I don't know if I want to play two of those guys. Alright, um... Deck's so aggressive, but not that aggressive. I'm going to D that, because I think someone was trying to build the deck. I'll do it again. Ah, see? There are a few of them missing. Although, I guess if they're coming to me now, that's the wrong... Getting the wrong way. So I have a couple, so I'm going to grab another Healing Self, in case I play against a burn deck that has a lot of uh, spells in it. Pick that up, and of course the Urza's Chalice. Um, I think this is still the right pick. It seems just really good. I don't know. I guess I'm going to, yeah, I mean, I'm obviously going to play this card. I don't know how good it actually is. There's so many, like, 1-4s, so that's getting put in. Cloud Spirit, Air Elemental, Air Elemental, Cloud Spirit. Yeah, so I really didn't get the blue cards I needed. Um, I'm not sure why people were passing these and not anything else. Those cards are <laughs> better than what I was looking for. But we'll see what we can do here. Um, I definitely want that in here. Uh, I do want you. I want that. One of these to start with. The white knight, um, 
probably one of those to begin with. Two of those, another griffin, armageddon. Uh, so that's only 11 creatures right now, so I need to up my creature count. Uh, so I'm going to play that guy, um, a dragon engine, um, two sleight of hands. They might actually, uh, I think, yeah, alright, so Savannah Lions. I already have one of these in. Ugh, I do. Damn. So that's 20 cards. What the hell? I want to try this card, so I'm going to. Excuse me. I'm going to play three sleight of hands. Basically, just go find air elemental and try and win with it. Um. Guess I'll play two of those. That. Ah, I fucking hate Moto. Uh, did that work that time? Yeah, uh, alright, there it is. 14 creatures. Living wall would be. I don't know that this is 23. I think I can cut down on a planes, though. Which is unfortunate with that. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna get that guy out there. He definitely just gums the ground up, which I think I kinda want with this deck. Um. Tempted to play a righteous charge. But with only. You know. 14 creatures I can attack. I'm not totally sold on it. This is very tempting to play another one of these. Actually, you know what? I think I want to do that. Because this, you know, these guys are going to be racing slash trading with other flyers. And if I can healing solve them, it's really awesome. And I've got some. St don't have a ton of great defense on the ground. That's the thing I'm a little worried about. This card, I don't think it's better than Living Wall. It really fits my curve a lot better. I think I, I sideboard that in. think that that's correct. You know, I, I, the Living Wall, I'm not totally sold on in this deck. But it, it really, you know, it holds the ground down. Alright, so let's add some lands. 10 and 6. Um, I really do need early white. 6 is low, though. I'm going to go 9 7. I do need double blue for both these and to, to actually use that card. Uh, so, do that. I'm not even sure if this card is better than this card in my deck. Just the, the two threes, I feel like they're just going to attack and this guy's going to sit there and not do anything. He's double white. But just can't play this card over that card. <laughs> I I don't have it in me. Maybe it's incorrect, but I I'm not going to not going to get there. All right, so that's that's my uh, draft. Pretty interesting one. Uh the the black was really crazy. It's possible I should have jumped. But again, it's if you go back and look at it, I I think that besides the the big bomb and then the destroy two black creatures, well no, I got a late weakness too. No, I, yeah, the black was coming around. I mean, it, it's unfortunate that I didn't end up there. That first pick was a tough one. Uh, I really like that this card though. It's every time I've ever cast it in any sort of cube draft or anything, it just wins. So we're gonna we're gonna go with it and see if I can dig for it with my sleight of hands. Even though there's only I'm only playing two and not three. Ugh, this card. I hope I don't lose the having this on a guy and then having to cast Armageddon. That would be unfortunate. Alright, so um, yeah, this is Rudy Poo, and we'll move on to round one.